Hey guys, today I am here and I am doing Pet Up on a Budget. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of clothing and accessory that you can get for under $40. I think there's not a piece in there over $40. Most of the stuff is actually much cheaper than that, but I threw in a few things on the higher end of cheap um, just to have sort of a variety of things. But I will give you sort of tips and tricks on how to shop and what to look for when you are shopping for pin up on a budget. You don't have to spend a million bazillion dollars to look like a super cute pin up babe. So let's get started. Okay, so first we have some basics here, and these are just some jeans from Forever 21. They always have really good dark wash jeans. And then this black and white striped shirt is from Target, and Target is another really good source for sort of like pinup inspired basics. Now this plaid shirt is actually a vintage shirt. I got it at Buffalo Exchange. It was like 12 bucks, and I just cuffed the sleeves, and if you want, you can also tie it at the waist to give it more vintage flair, but plaid vintage shirts are great. And they're even better in the winter when you add a cute little ribbed sweater over the top. I got this at a mall store called Sudeca. It was on the clearance rack. I bought it in the spring after winter was over. That's another great thing to do is to buy things out of season because then you can scour the clearance racks, but a nice big ribbed sweater is always vintage. So this is another thing I got at a local store. This was just a little local boutique. I got a black and a white and a red and a white little striped strapless shirt. It's really cheap, a couple bucks, I think. And then this is just a little cardigan from Forever 21. You can wear it over the top. If you button it at the top, it instantly gives you that sort of pinup look and it is actually just a normal basic. So you can wear it with sort of, I don't know, quote unquote normal clothes too. And then this is a faux leather jacket that I got at Forever 21 as well. And if you roll the sleeves up a little bit, um, it gives it that sort of like vintage spice. If you wear this with a high-waisted pencil skirt, you look like that sort of like 50s bad girl and it's super cute and this thing was not expensive. So now I have a little circle skirt and I'm literally just wearing a black t-shirt with this. If you slap a belt on it, put some cute earrings on. Um, I think I got the t-shirt at like Marshalls or Ross. And then the little cardigan sweater I put on top, I also got it Forever 21. They have really good cropped sweaters at Forever 21. You can always find cute little polka dots or this one same Forever 21 is in leopard. They always have good prints. So. Find something that's sort of rockabilly y It always helps when you clasp it at the neck, or you can use little sweater clips. Look at your local antique malls or vintage stores for cheap sweater clips, and that will also help to give you a rockabilly look. This is another one from Forever 21. I'm telling you guys, they have the best little pieces that are sort of vintage inspired. The pockets, they're hard to see here, but they're actually little bows, and um, it's just little stripey, super cute. And then this is another stripey shirt. This is actually from Gap, and if you go to the Gap outlet stores, you can always find basics in stripes and leopards and polka dots that are really inexpensive and really comfortable. This is a super comfortable cotton shirt. Another stripey shirt. This one again is Forever 21. Shocking, I know. You can wear it untucked or you can tuck it into a pencil skirt or a circle skirt or high-waisted pants. Oh, I forgot to zip my skirt. Nothing to see here, folks. Um, this is actually a play suit and this is just from an inexpensive brand. You can find these. You can either find them from cute little um, Rockabilly brands or you can find them at Wet Seal, Forever 21, H&M. During springtime, there's always cute little play suits. You just need to accessorize. And then this is actually a vintage dress, but it is not 50s, it's actually 80s. And because of that, it was really inexpensive. So it looks like the expensive knockoff vintage dresses, but it's actually really cheap and it's just as cute and nobody knows the difference. This is another Forever 21 piece. Um, it's just a little polka dotty dress. Go with the good prints, little um, cute summer dresses. Anything that's sort of structured and has a sweetheart bust is going to look vintage. So let's talk accessories, hair flowers. Hair flowers are really, really easy to make yourself. Mount a clip on the back. You can find them at places like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and then just clip them yourself. So vintage scarves are also a must have and they are not expensive. You can get these at Buffalo Exchange or any sort of like resale vintage place. Same thing with bandanas. Bandanas are actually easier to find. You can get these at craft stores. Sometimes you can find them at places like Target. They come in all different colors um, and they're just a good little thing to stock up on. There's also a lot of brands these days making reproduction jewelry for not expensive prices. And then if you can't find reproduction brands, try places like Charming Charlie. I got this little poodle necklace at Charming Charlie you can always find stuff like this at forever 21 as well um, but anything that has sort of that like vintage retro vibe you can just make your own these little anchor earrings I got at forever 21 and I have them in gold and I have them in silver they're super cute nice and basic anything with anchors on them are always safe if you're looking for 
some rockabilly stuff. This is just another one I got at some, I don't know, some mall store. It's an anchor. It has a star, star sparrows, anchors, cherries, dice, polka dot, anything is great. So here's some shoes. These I actually got on ModCloth and they were not expensive. You can find really inexpensive, super cute shoes on ModCloth. I have them in black and sea foam. I also got these little bait shoes, which they aren't expensive anyways, but I got these on a sale at, on Zulily and they were even cheaper. So definitely look online for sales. These little flats, they're actually kids knockoffs and I got them at Target. Target is another good place to find little sort of rockabilly style shoes. And then this is actually another shoe that I got from a sale on Zulily. So definitely check out Zulily. So I hope you guys thought this video was useful. If there's any other budget ideas you have, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and be sure to check out these latest videos that I have posted, and also be sure to click the subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you can see the new shenanigans coming your way.